Hi, this is Noah, and in this Noah Tech Info video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and configure DHCP on your Windows Server 2008 R2 server. Let's begin. So, I go into my server manager, I click on roles, I click on add roles. click next and I click on DHCP and click next and this is basically an introduction to DHCP press pause and have a quick look at it when you're done click next <clears throat> now my new IP address is 192.168.1.182 yes I have changed the um, the IP address from 10.0.2.15 to 192.168.1.182. Um, obviously, don't use 10.0. whatever because it won't exactly work. It's always good to use 192.168.1.182. Just a quick update. Anyway, click next. This is the domain. Um, now, one thing I must point out, preferred DNS server IPv4 address is the default is set to 127.0.0.1, which basically means myself. And obviously, we don't want that. So we are going to type in our IP address, which is 192.168.1.182. And click Next. I'm not going to be using Wins for this, as it's a very, very old system, and it will only be used with Windows Server 2000 and below. So we will not need this. Click Next. Now we're going to assign a scope. Basically, a scope is to set an IP address range and keep them organized. For example, I'm going to name this Scope 1. And the starting IP address will be 192.168.1.182. And the ending IP address will be 192.168.1.254. Make sure that your gateway is 192.168.1.1. And click OK. and click next. Make sure you disable this if you are not using IPv6. If you are, click on enable. When you're done, click next. And here we are going to be using our current credentials um, because if we use alternate credentials it's going to use a different DHCP server. So we are going to use the current here and click next. When you're ready, click install. And now I'm going to speed up the process as it can take some time. And as you can see, it has been succeeded. Once again, do not worry about this as this is only about Windows updates. When you're done, click close. I know it's not asking me to, but just for purposes, we are going to give the server one last reboot. And now we're going to speed up the process as it can take some time. Okay, and now we are going to be configuring DHCP. So we simply go into Server Manager, click on Roles, click on DHCP Server, 
Click the add box, add, add, and go into scope. Now here we have address pools. Now what this is, we can edit this and add a new exclusion range. Now what an exclusion range is, is that we can exclude the first few IP addresses as they could be, you know, the server or something else of that sort. Um, or just a couple of reserved IP addresses, and anything really. It will just exclude it from the server, so it does not connect to the server. So we're going to be using 192.168.1.183. Oh, one minute. 183, because you need to leave your old one, your own one, so it connects. And then the end one should be 192.168.1.193, just to exclude the first 10. You can exclude as many as you want, but I'm going to go with 10. When you're done, click Add and Close. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you would like to request a video, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.